everyone, and welcome to the video. Today, I will be discussing about how I was able to apply the principles of layout in my blog. The principles and elements of design are essential in creating a successful, appealing design. They help determine how effective the design is in conveying the desired message and how attractive it appears. So, I have created a blog through Vlogger. My URL is venusunlockdownonline.blogspot.com There are various principles of layout that I see were applied to my blog and how it has created an aesthetically pleasing blog such as mine. First off, alignment. Properly aligning elements and creating a uniformly repeating visual language helps users easily identify what your blog is trying to say. I have various pages here, my home, my ideas and activities, monthly playlists, resources, about me, and my contact me page. They are all perfectly aligned in the same pattern. I applied the elements of color to my blog by creating a distinct palette of blue, pink, and white. I did the same color by creating in my text in dark blue to match the theme of my blog. As you can see, most of my blog are all in dark blue. Balance in graphic design provides stability and structure to a design. I made sure my text and use of colors were all perfectly balanced and equal. Just like balance, all the weighted elements here are in equilibrium, giving a few posts that I have wrote to have symmetrical balance. Asymmetry can bring a bolder visual experience to the user as it incorporates uneven distribution of elements like pictures. As you can see in one of my posts over here, I have conducted an asymmetrical balance as to make the composition much more eye-popping and interesting. Another principle of layout that I have done is the links and elements of my top side by here shows a huge emphasis on my profile. The design may be asymmetrical, but the detail of it spreading out keeps the composition much more radial. I gave out similar elements such as my playlist, and both my activities and resources in close proximity to each other to show the relevance of association the content has with each other. The layout of all of my posts and pages are all uniformly repeating as to align them all carefully to avoid any visual confusion and it helps identify what the content inside of them are. Contrast gives the emphasis on the difference between elements and you can see this duality very clear on the size difference between the text title and the text base or the distinct colors that differ to give it weight and an effective design. As you can see here, the dates are in red while the descriptions are in blue. The technique of repetition, pattern, and rhythm is that it represents information consistently to show elements with visibility and distinctiveness. I have a pattern of using the same font for all of my posts and pages. As you can see here, they are all in the same font. It can also be seen in how I have repeatedly used the same formatting for a few of my pages. Last but not least, the white space or negative space. It gives your users time to breathe and keeps the design minimalistic enough of a composition to achieve organization. I made sure all of my texts were evenly spaced out and structured for easier user comprehension. That's all the principles of layout I have applied to this video. I hope you enjoy and leave a comment down below to tell me what you think. And as always, see you next time in the next installment on my YouTube channel.